All right, so welcome to a new Bitwig device, uh, I don't know, guide or review or a quick overview or whatever you want to call it. On this one, we need to talk about the randomized uh, device. It's a very cool, very cool device. And it's very simple to understand, but maybe you're not using it enough. That's why I'm recording this. So this is the randomized. You have a pitch, randomized velocity, timber, uh, pressure, then pan, and then gain. Now I'm gonna uh, instead of just uh, you know tell you what this do because this does because this is very simple to understand. I'm gonna just turn it off. I'm just gonna play uh, something they have right here. So this is the synthesizer. It's a pulse synth with a you know just a very dull sound. If I play something and not uh, run, I don't randomize. It's just you know sounds. It sounds, you know, it sounds fine, maybe it's just a little bit too loud. Right, it sounds cool, it sounds nice. Now I want to bring an arpeggiator, and I'm gonna be playing this. So we're gonna be playing multiple notes, right? So pretty simple to understand. And right now, this is still very dull. So we can bring the randomize just to make it a little bit, just a little bit better. So when you turn it on, you have different different options. The first one and the most obvious one is going to be the velocity. So this one will randomize the velocity. And as soon as you do, do this, you're going to get a random uh, movement. And just doing this changes the whole thing. Because now you have, you know, a vibe, you have a movement. It's doing something. It's not just doing this. And just doing this is just enough. But then you have more. Now, the, the timber is going to be uh, this control, so you need to have an expressions uh, module right here to control the timber. Because whatever you do right here, you can map it to the different controls, and you're going to be getting the random movement to whatever you map it. For example, if I go and select the timber, and then I do a little bit of filter, maybe a little bit of uh, resonance, maybe a little bit of noise, and I don't know, a little bit of sync, something like that, now, the randomize is going to, this value that we are doing right here on Timber, is going to be randomized with this. To enable this, we need to just click on this, and I'm going to be playing it again. And we can see it moving. As I do more... We can hear the movement from Timber, going out from here, randomized from Timber. There is a difference between this and this. So we can do the same thing, and it's the same principle with uh, with pressure. Timber is just going to be timber pressure. It would be aftertouch. Now, I'm, of course, we are not doing aftertouch. So as soon as I enable this, now the pressure, this control, is listening to whatever instruction we are providing right here. So we can do the same thing. Maybe I want to do a little bit of sub. I don't know what else I'm going to do. A little bit of unison. And then I'm going to do a little bit of, I don't know, drive. And maybe a little bit of this. And maybe we can even change the envelopes that we have right here. So if I go up on the pressure, now we have more motion. Notice that this is moving. And this is the whole point of all of this. Right? Just getting some random motion. Just getting vibe. Now then you have the other option, which is going to be the pan. Now by default, pan is going to be pan. So if I go up, we can hear that this is making the synthesizer going to the pan, to left and right, and it's just randomizing the pan. Uh, same idea with the gain. If I go up on the gain, we get like a, a tremolo effect, but the thing is that it's not a tremolo because this is random, so it d doesn't follow a pattern. It's going up and down. If I go up and down, it's just going to be really aggressive, or almost like a gate. Maybe a little bit is just enough. Notice it, how different it sounds from this to this. And we didn't do much, right? So it's a, just a very simple module and just very creative. Now then we have the pitch, and the pitch is something else. Right now we are doing one single note. Now as soon as you enable the pitch, you can hear that it's uh, randomizing the pitch, which is fine. Now then you have the plus and the minus. So this means that it's going to go up and down in pitch. So if I disable this, it's just going to go one way. Now then, you need to decide how much, uh, how many, you know, how much, how many semitones you want to go and randomize in this one. Now, 
it, the, if you go there, it's gonna say at the bottom, pitch randomize quantize. So if I disable this, it's not going to quantize it in semitones. It's just gonna go and randomly throw, you know, <laughs> pitches. It's just gonna do whatever it wants. But this one, when we enable it, it's gonna be quantized. So it's all gonna be semitones. Now you cannot avoid, you can avoid thinking that it sounds very dissonant. So what you can do, you can bring a key filter. So when you select the key filter, you can select your key and whatever scale. And when you enable, whatever this is doing is going to adjust the notes that don't belong. And now we have something more, you know, a little bit more nicer, nicer to hear. Now, if you do filter, it's going to remove the notes, the random notes that don't belong to the scale. It's still gonna sound cool, but constrain is going to adjust and move the notes that don't belong to the right note. And we can use whatever, you know, scale and whatever key. If I go up, it means that now we are randomizing by 16 semitones. So it's gonna go really up, and we can go all the way to, two, to 24 semitones. Depends on what you want to do, you want to be aggressive or not. And remember, if you go up and you're aggressive, you can go up and down, so it's gonna be more aggressive. But still, that is how, how good it sounds. It sounds really, really cool. Without the nothing, nothingness. Maybe one octave is enough for this. And remember, you can do shift. And while you're moving this, you can fine tune the values. And we are going to one octave, exactly. Really, really cool device. All right. So this is what you can do with the randomize. You just bring it, select some values, you map it to whatever you want, and you get a different vibe. And you can do this with whatever other synthesizer. You just you just need to do the mappings, bring the modules, do the mappings, and that's it. Now the other side, it's using it with some other sources, maybe a sampler, or maybe like we are doing right here, we are uh, bringing a drum machine. Not let me just show you what I have right here. I'm gonna disable this one. I'm gonna toggle active, and uh, on this one, I have a just a drum machine. Let me see if I can find the key right there, right there. So what I have is a hat. A different hat, a different hat, right here, and just different hats, right? So we have different types of hats, and they are all different. And I did this kind of a random, just uh, searched for some hats and dropped them right here. So what I want to do, I want to, you know, play this. Now, if I play the clip, this one it's only playing on the E2, and the E2 is going to be this one. So we are always playing the same hat. Pretty, you know, pretty understandable. We do this the whole time. Now, what if we could, uh, you know, move or just randomize the different hats and play, you know, different hats? So we can bring the pitch. So when I bring the pitch, it's just going to do it. Now, if I do this randomly, it's just going to be playing some hats. And sometimes it's going to play the ones we have right here. And sometimes it's going to be playing all their notes. Because they, remember, this one goes in semitones. And we are doing, uh, you know, we are uh, quantizing this. So it's going one semitone up and down, up and down. Now the thing is that it's going from this one to this one. So we need to narrow from where we start until it's only playing the notes we want. As maybe it's gonna be five semitones. And every time it's going to, you know, give us a pitch and randomize it, it's going to play one of the ones we have right here. And we can get, you know, again, just a cool random pattern with different sounds. Now, right now, I'm just using hats, but we can bring whatever we want. And this is just one, you know, just another way of doing this. We can bring other modules from Bitwig that listen to pitch, and on each, uh, you know, on each key, we can play something else, or maybe use a different synthesizer, or maybe a sampler. But yeah, you know, pretty simple. This is a very useful, very creative device where you can turn something that sounds dull to something that sounds really cool, or maybe it's something again that sounds really dull, just something that sounds, you know, dull, sounds really cool. 
That's it. You know, that's the whole device. There is nothing else I can show you. Everything else, it's, uh, you know, it's something that you need to do. It's experimentation. You need to bring the device, bring some sounds, maybe a synthesizer, or in this case, a drum machine or something that gives you more sounds and just play around. Okay, so remember to like and subscribe if you liked all this. And if you want to buy me a coffee, you can go to the links at the description. You have the uh, links for Patreon, you have PayPal, and you have YouTube. Thanks. All right, so see you on the next uh, Bitwick edition.